So the first layer is going to be our sand. And we have a few sand textures here. 512 by 512, that'll do. Um, and then for the coral, what I'm actually going to use is I ripped my own kind of coral texture out of, um, I forget which map it was, it was probably mid, um, maybe Wake. Um, but I just took some of the original Wake terrain textures and then ripped out my own bit of coral because they had some nice textures in there. Uh, and you can see now on that proof that it's it's starting to include that within our within our layers. However, I don't know how this is going to work yet. So. Need a little bit of sand. Okay. Yeah, so we've got some coral under the water there. We want to bring it up a bit. <clears throat> it's a tiny bit too high. Yeah, I mean, that's better. So now, one thing which I think is not so good is that the sand is coming up quite high on these rocks. Uh, so just in this main top layer, we should be able to... You can see in the preview there, the rocks are coming down a bit further onto the beach. And there's a little bit of grass here, which is fine. I mean, I think that's quite nice. It's quite, quite kind of natural. Now, the rocks, we would like the grass to stay on these kind of flatter areas longer. You can see up here, um, it's, actually, it's actually putting rock up here. I don't really want that. I want it to be more grassy. Um, So we can just sharpen off that edge. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. That's better. <clears throat> Incidentally, you can use the undo, um, I guess you know this, but you can, only on the height map, you can't do it with textures. But if you do do something stupid with the textures, you can control Z and undo it, which is pretty handy. Okay, so this will do for now. One thing which I mentioned earlier when we picked up this texture is it's just too big. I mean, you can see that these blades of grass are, I don't know, 
10 feet high, probably. Um, so let's scrap this grass texture. Let's find a better one. Something which is, we, we need something which is more like this. Um, maybe this is just still a bit too, a bit too big. This will do, this is a very kind of lush green texture. It doesn't look like it's going to actually, it needs to be seamless or you can make your own. Um, but this doesn't look like it's going to match up. Maybe it will. Yeah, no, not really. No. Um, so stupid. Yeah, this looks better. Let's copy this. Shrink it down to 512. Save it again as a bitmap. New grass to. And now we can jump back in here. Uh, jump back to our texture. And change this new map grass to new map grass two. Yeah, and that looks a bit a bit more realistic. I'm just going to soften off this edge into the water here with a little bit of a sort of slope, which I think is not not so realistic. So I'm just doing a bit of smoothing. Okay. Um, okay, so now it's probably a good point to save it. Uh, and then I'm just going to cover the whole map in this new texture now. And we'll see how it looks. Well, I've been using that texture tool. I mean, there is an option to obviously save all of those complex layers. Um, and you should save them, but I'll show you in a minute. Um, once you close Ed42 and then try to load it up again, it's just going to fail. What you should be able to do, though, is, you know, we've used grass, we've used rock, we've used sand, and we've used this coral. It's not, you know, it's not seriously complex. <clears throat> so you can, um, you know, you, you should be getting used to using it anyway. Um, so there's no harm in restarting these each time. You'll get a nice new effect each time, and there's nothing wrong with that. So, as our kind of basic setup, um, you know, with a bit of a coastline, and I think that's you know that's quite nice. It's pretty good. 